You remember Mark Elias, the Democratic super lawyer we've talked a lot about here, runs Democracy Docket, involved in all sorts of election litigation, many lawsuits we've covered here. Fortunately, it looks like the DNC is going to be parting ways with him. Now, this is a bit of a surprise because Mark Elias is very, very involved in litigation all over the place. You can see he just posted this on April 11, 2023. He said that my team is litigating 45 pro-democracy cases in 18 states. He might be on this list. He is the founder of the Democracy Docket. It is the leading progressive source for information about elections and democracy. And he's actively filing right there all over the place, all over the country, the Elias Law Group and Democracy Docket. You can see they're giving us updates on the Mark Finkham lawsuit in Arizona, Minnesota House. They're all over the place. Pro-voting legislation, voter enfranchisement, and so on. Mark was involved in suppression groups. This came out from the Washington Free Beacon, saying that this liberal lawyer worked for a PAC that also made it hard for Glenn Youngkin to win. So it's in various races all around the country, a political action committee that published deceptive campaign ads to suppress Republican votes for Glenn Youngkin paid thousands of dollars to this guy, Mark Elias. The Accountability Virginia PAC paid five grand to Elias Law Group, according to records. The PAC also paid 12,000 to Perkins Coy, the law firm where Elias worked until 2021. You remember that. Until 2021, we paid a lot of attention to the time when he was there at Perkins Coy. That's where Michael Sussman was also working. And we had the entire Christopher Steele dossier and all of this come into fruition back during the election of 2016 when they were working for Hillary. Axios reported in September that the Democrat-run PAC masqueraded as a conservative group to divert support from Youngkin. Accountability Virginia came under fire for running social media ads. Dominion Energy, a company that contributed to the PAC, sought to refund money. The PAC payments to Elias's firm, which have not been previously reported, were for unspecified legal services. Misleadingly claimed that conservatives were upset with Youngin's support. They donated a bunch of money. So Elias's work for the PAC could undercut his vaunted status among Democrats. He's filed lawsuits for Democratic groups all over the country. He's also leading a legal battle to redraw congressional districts. He appears frequently on MSNBC, CNN, and accuses Republicans of voter suppression. It's unclear whether Elias was aware of the ad campaign. His firms were the only ones to provide legal services to the Virginia Accountability PAC. Elias represented Terry McAuliffe during a 2008 investigation into whether then-governor accepted illegal donations from a Chinese businessman. He also worked with Perkins Coy. Michael Sussman, who also used to be there, was indicted by special counsel John Durham, although he was later acquitted of his charges. According to the indictment, Clinton campaign lawyer, who has been identified as Elias, briefed the media and the members about the campaign that was later and since discredited. Elias left Perkins Coy to form the Elias Law Group weeks before the Sussman indictment. He was sanctioned last year for misleading claims. Mark Elias came into the Michael Sussman trial and he testified. And Mark Elias is no dummy. He's a smart guy. We've read many of his filings or his team's filings here, and he's doing good work for the Democrats. He had been very successful in a number of different eras, endeavors, and we covered a lot of it. But when he showed up in trial during the Michael Sussman trial, which we covered here, he couldn't remember anything. Smart guy was suddenly dumb as could be. No, I have no idea. I don't remember that at all. Do you remember your calendar dates? Uh, no, I don't remember that. Do you remember your emails? Gosh, it could have been about anything. Very curious. But now it looks like the Democrats may be running away or so. The DNC parts ways with Mark Elias. The Clinton world lawyer behind the Trump-Russia dossier. Uh-oh. The DNC is cutting ties with lawyer Mark Elias. Elias, who represented the DNC since 2006, has had several disagreements with the committee, according to sources who spoke with Punchbowl News. Elias Law Group, his firm founded in 2021, works on behalf of many Democratic lawmakers and entities like the DCCC, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, and the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee. A DNC spokesman said, the DNC works with a number of law firms on voting rights litigation, compliance, and contracting, and so they said the DNC is appreciative of Elias Law Group and his years of work and service and the values we share. But you're fired. Between November 2021 and 23, DNC paid Elias Law Group over $2 million 
And since October 2021, the firm has pulled in over 34 million bucks from campaigns and committees, Whew. including those linked to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Senator Raphael Warnock, and Senator Mark Kelly from Arizona, solidifying himself as the Democratic legal powerhouse. Elias was general counsel also to Hillary Clinton from a 2016 presidential campaign. The lawyer hired the opposition research firm Fusion GPS, which in turn brought on the British ex-spy Christopher Steele. Steele was offered up to one million in the run-up to 2016 by the FBI to prove the dossier's allegation against Trump but did not get the money due to the lack of evidence. FBI supervisory analyst Brian Otten testified in October. The following month, Jim Jordan sent a bunch of information out about bogus information. Elias Law Group is proud of the work it has done for the DNC. We look forward to continuing to represent the Democratic Party as well as helping citizens vote and progressives make change. Of course, they didn't respond to the Washington Examiner for any comment. This is a big move, this is a big deal. Mark Elias was a powerhouse for the DNC. He was filing litigation all over the place. They've got cases all across the country. Alabama, Virginia, Pennsylvania, filed in Tennessee, filed in Maine, decided in Kansas, another one decided in Kansas. And if the DNC is not gonna be funding many of these lawsuits anymore. The question is why, and the question is, are other lawyers going to be coming in, or what was the cause of the separation? We'll see. Mm -hmm.